Rockets use them. So do cell phones. Even cars. You may not know it, but ceramics are all around us. Anything that is uh, not a metal and not a plastic is, uh, could be considered a ceramic material. Ceramics are also in your home. Most people think about ceramics, they'll think about a coffee cup or maybe, uh, maybe a window in a home. But these are, these are examples of ceramic materials, but they are not the only ones. What we teach in ceramic engineering, what our students learn in ceramic engineering, uh, is how to uh, refine ceramic materials and make them uh, useful for a wide range of, uh, of applications. This is one of the students' projects. It's a super hard ceramic mug, and it's virtually indestructible. A lot of times people just think pottery and things like that, but uh, we couldn't be farther from that. We just try to take different materials and compounds and turn them into useful items. Um, usually I say space shuttle tiles or something like that. Strength is key for industrial ceramics. Today these engineering students are in their lab working on a formula to make an ultra-hard ceramic mug. It's challenging. It's almost, it's, it, it's a science. Yes, but uh, it's also an art. It's very tricky to get this to come out. All right, first thing, if we're going to get this mug made, we're going to need to make a slip. And that is just a, a liquid containing our ceramic particles. So right, let's well. go ahead and get started. Sounds simple, but choosing the ceramic material for the job can be tricky. And just using the wrong powder, having the powder have the wrong particle size. Um, so lots of, lots of very tunable parameters that could be... Uh, issues in terms of uh, getting the mug to work. For this super mug, the two ingredients of choice are zirconium oxide and aluminum oxide. Adding zirconia, the same material as fake diamonds, makes the mug resistant to cracking. Aluminum oxide or alumina is a common material that ceramic engineers use all the time. Um, it's a very strong material. Um, you could, one application that it's used in that people could relate to is the use of alumina in uh, hip joint replacements uh, since it's very hard very strong and very wear resistant it makes a great material for replacing uh, hip joints these tiny marshmallow like pieces of ceramic keep the liquid smooth during mixing i think it should be done it's been 24 hours so i think it should be done so let's go ahead and get our slip off here Next, the milky slip is poured slowly into the molds to avoid bubbles. They could weaken the ceramics. The strength of ceramics is actually limited by the size of the flaws and the number of flaws contained in them. It's time to see if the student's work is paid off. I'm going to go ahead and slide this out. Just be careful with it. It's really fragile. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah. It's cracked. It's cracked. Yep. Fortunately, really they careful. know what went wrong. These pit marks here mm -hmm. on the mug, that caused it to fail. So from these uh, these flaws here, we got cracks when we were moving the, the mug from the mold. So this mug is going to have to be redone. The problem with ceramics is that they're brittle. When they break, they break catastrophically, whereas metals will bend or deform. Uh, and so using a ceramic, for example, in a jet turbine, uh, would be of great benefit because it will be able to take much higher temperatures. But the downside is if the uh, ceramic material in the turbine uh, failed, the engine would fail catastrophically. And so there's a great uh, deal of research that goes on around the world to make ceramics as strong or as hard as possible. Using the same ingredients and technique, the students have tried again. This time the mug is intact. There we go. Then the super mug is baked in an oven at 1500 degrees Celsius. Now the fun part, trying to break it. In contrast to a regular coffee mug, the student's mug doesn't even chip. And in a pressure test, the clay mug broke in seconds. But the super mug withstood the weight of an adult moose and still didn't crack. This mug is so strong the machine could even break it. So this mug wins in a strength test, but there's still one problem. This mug would not be a, a very good mug to market. Since the materials we use are so pure, um, the processing is so intensive that uh, this mug would probably cost 100 bucks easy. 
No one said quality came cheap.